Hi, everyone. It is time for our youngest disciples. And today I want to think about what it means to be Easter people. So imagine yourself there on Easter Sunday. It's a pretty chaotic time, isn't it? It's a time that I bet people are pretty confused about what is happening, maybe a little scared about what is happening. And I think the biggest fear is what comes next. So you'll hear a lot of times that people will talk about what it means to be Easter people, that we Christians are Easter people. And I think that idea of what happens next, that anticipation, that curiosity, that hope, is what it means to be Easter people. We know as Christians what will happen, that life will go on, that Jesus has been raised from the dead. And so we celebrate that. We celebrate that in our lives and in Easter, and so when we get to hard times, probably like where we are today, where we're uncertain of what is next, we can think about Easter, that we know that God has a plan for what's next, that God has an idea of what God's world looks like. And so it's our job. It's our job in this time to look at what Jesus did in his life, how the scriptures talk about Jesus, how the scriptures talk about how we interact, how we are in relationship with God and with other people. And then we got to go do that. And now I know it's really hard right now to connect with other people because we can't touch each other. We can't be in that physical closeness that we want to be, that we as humans crave. But there are so many ways that we can connect with each other. There are so many ways that we can deepen our relationships with one another. There are so many ways that we can continue to build the beloved community right here and right now, where everyone has voice and agency, where everyone has a seat at the table and where everyone, regardless of how they identify, who they are, is respected and honored as a child of God. So as we go into this week, I want you to think what it means to be an Easter person. What does it mean to do what's next? And I have a challenge. I have a what's next challenge. And I want you to think about what is next in your life. What is next for you after this moment has passed? Whether it be this moment with service and you want to think about what's next tomorrow, or you want to think about what's next in your life, like what happens this summer or what happens later? And how are you in partnership with God to bring about God's dream in this time and this place? So think about that. Think about that and then do something super creative and send it to Kari. And we'll look at them and we'll celebrate them and we'll share them. But I want you to think about that. What is next? for you. What is next for you and your relationship with God? And what is next for you, your relationship with God, your partnership with God, and your partnership in building the beloved community? I hope you all have a wonderful time thinking about this, because this is how we do theology. This is how we think about God and put God back into our lives.
Have a great week. Have a great week thinking about God. And if you need anything, know that we as a church family are here for you.